All right, back again with Tayo. We've got the same warm up that we had last week. So just a refresher, we slightly bend the knees, fan arms up, and then you forward fold. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slightly bend the right and then slightly bend the left. So bending one knee more than the other, applying pressure with those two hands. And then our second move then is gonna be a rear lunge. Keep that right foot forward, or even if it's your left, whatever one you step back with first, but it's three pulses. And then you're gonna step in and then switch to the other leg. And then our third move is just two body weight squats. So as we go on, I want you to get a little bit lower. After those two squats, you're gonna have hands on hips and you're just gonna do a nice little forward pull just at that halfway point and then slowly roll it back up and thrust those hips forward to reset. And then our last move, you're gonna step out to the right and you're gonna stay for two right lunges. So whatever leg you step out with, bend that knee, other one stays straight. After the two, stay here. And then opposite arm is gonna do two reaches and then we'll step to the middle and we'll head up to the other side. So. Here we go, starting with that fan arms up, forward fold, and then bending one knee at a time. Feet right at hip distance apart. Three, two, one, fan up. Nice little exhale as we forward fold. Come up halfway, bend the right, bend the left, fan up to stand up. Remember, we go through all of these moves for more times through that first time, and then we'll cut everything in half after we go through everything once. Here's our last one. Slowly bring it on up, right leg stays. One, two, three, step in, right leg goes back. Two, three, keep it going. Try to stay up nice and tall with that torso. Pull those shoulders back, retract that core. Last time each leg, three pulses. Three, two, one, step in, switch. Three, two, one, step in, two squats. Hands on hips. Push the hips back, flat back. Good, keep it going. Same thing, two squats, two little hinges there. Or one little hinge, excuse me. Last one. Good, bring it up, step out to the right, bend the right knee. One, two, left arm up. One, two, step to the middle, go left. One, two, right arm up, reach. Reach up to the middle, back to the right side, just one more time, each side here. And then let's cut everything in half as we go back up to the top after this left side. Step it in, deep inhale. Exhale, bend the right, bend the left, bend it up. Stand it on up, left leg goes back, three, two, one, step it in and switch. Switch. Step it in for those two squats. Hands on hips. Starting to get a little bit lower as we wake up those muscles off to the right. Left arm up and reach. Step center, step left. Step it in, fan it up, back up to the top. Then the right, then the left. Bring it up to standing, left leg back. Three, two, one, good. Switch, try to get that knee down a little bit lower. But stay nice and tall with that torso. Step it in, two squats, get low. Hands on hips, push the hips back. One more. Off to the right. Left arm up, reach. Step it in last time through. So we're going to get as low as we can, finishing up this warm up. One more. Bring it on up, left leg back. Three, two, one. In, right leg back. One more time each leg. Then onto our squat and our hip hinge. Step it in, squat, low as you've been, all warm up. To the right. To 
to the left. And step it in. Good job. If you need some water, grab that now. But we're going to move on to our heat building. So this is just a continuation of that warm up with all of our sun salutations. We start with that sun salutation prep where we're going to stand our arms up. We're going to walk it out. You're going to give me some push ups, crouching down dog. And then we're going to do our lunge and twist. So when we do that, that right leg's up, right arm goes up and we hold. And I want you to add a little pulse to it if you want to. And then the hands are going to come down and hold and then we'll alternate legs. And then we'll continue with our sun salutation slow, full tempo. We've got that transitional move, which for this one is just a rear lunge for four, but I want you to stay low, all four, and then the other leg. And then we'll go into our variation. So just changing up what our sun salutation is after that inhale and forward fold. So give yourself some space to crawl out in front of you. Three, two, one, inhale. Exhale, walk it out, but drop to your knees. Here we go, four push-ups. One, two, three, four. Curl toes under, down dog. What I want you to do is drop those knees to the floor and then push the hips back up. Try to get those heels down nice and low. Two more. Good, right leg comes up and then right leg through those two hands and open up to the right and add that hold, or you can fold. Arm comes down, stay here with that right leg in the front. Left leg comes front, right leg goes back, open up to the left, pulse it out. Left arm comes down, keep the pulses going if you're doing them. Good, let's twist, let's cut in half, open up to the right with that right foot forward. Then you can hold or pulse. Right arm comes down, stay here. Good, left up to the front, open up left. Left arm comes down. Good, step it in, switch, no arms. Switch. Switch, one more each leg. Switch. Step it in, stand up to stand up. We're gonna do nice and slow. So forward fold, half lift. Hands go down to the ground, either step or hop to that plank position, pull it here. Try to rock a high to low. So bend those elbows as you take your chest to the floor, right into a dog to try to get those thighs off the ground. Curl those toes under, down dog. You can hold here. Or you can pedal the heels, so lifting one heel up off the ground while the other stays flat, or try to get you close to the ground. Heel going up to the sky, push the ground away with those hands. And step or pop into the hands, fan up to stand up. We're at tempo now. We're going to go through that two times through. Chaturanga, high to low, up dog, down dog. Step or hop, do it again. After this, we're gonna go to that traditional move. That was that step back of four lunges. Staying low the entire time. Good, step it in. Left leg goes back. One, two, three, four. Left leg stays, right goes back. One, two, three, four. Step it in, stand arms up. We're going to be on to our first variation. I want you to go ahead and step back into plank. Show you from the front. From this plank position, right leg goes up, top out to the side. Up, out to the side. Up, side, up, side. Back into that high plank, step or hop to the hand. Let's do that again with our left leg. Step or hop to plank. Hold it here. Good, leg up and out, up, out. Squeeze the glute, keep the leg straight, last one. Step or hop, all the way up tall, back to that transitional move, left leg back, one, two, three, four, right leg back, one, two, three, four. Step it in, last variation of our sun salutation, going half lift. Drop it all the way down, go into down dog for me. 
Right leg up for single leg down dog. Hold it. Step that right leg in between the hands. Push yourself up halfway in the split stance position and pulse it out. Get to the lowest point you can and hold. Good. Step it in and do the left leg. Half lift. Step for hop. Down dog. Left leg up. Hold it. Left leg in between the hands. Push yourself up. Hold in that split stance. As low as you can go, hold, hold, hold. And step it in, very good. Grab some water and we'll get ready for a lower body. All right, lower body, we have our transitional move. No matter what, it's always eight squats. We're gonna start with it, we're gonna end with it. It's always in between the right and left transition from that right side to the left side. We've got four moves. They're essentially the same, the two are the same. We just add a triple pulse to it for moves two and for moves four. So your first move for our lower, lower body after we do those low squats is gonna be a lunge back in. And then with that tap or you can do a knee raise. So you're gonna knee and then either tap or you can lift up that knee. So lunge, either knee lift or tap, completely up to you. Move number two, then you're just gonna add that triple pulse to it. One, two, three, and either knee lift or again, tap with those toes down and then the heels up. And then move number three is gonna be a single drop lunge or that curtsy. So that left leg's gonna go behind, send the knee down to the ground onto a little side tap. Move number four, three pulses. One, two, three, and a tap. So those are our four moves. Let's get started. It's always eight squats. Even when we cut everything else in half, the squats stay at eight. So feet hip distance apart. Three, two, one. One, two, keep it going. We should be able to get low now. We're nice and warmed up. Last one, right leg stays in the front. Lunge and either lift or tap. Three more. Last one. Add the pulse to it. One, two, three, lift or tap. Two more. Good. Left leg behind the right. Tap. Tap. I should say lunge, tap, not tap, tap. You know what I meant. Four more. Add the pulse. One, two, three, tap. Two more. Tap, step it in, squat. Right leg gets a break. We'll move on to the left. Left leg stays. Lunge, tap or lift the knee. Last one. Add the pulse. Two more. Don't forget, you can tap the toes if you're losing balance. Behind and tap. Two more. Add the pulse. Last one, tap, step it in, squat. Okay, we cut everything in half, not these squats. Right leg stays, 
lunge and lift. I lunge and tap. Two more. Pulse it out. Behind. Add the pulse. Step and squat. Left leg stays, step the right back. Tap or lift. Add the pulse. Same thing, tap or lift. Right behind left and tap. Pulse. Tap, step it back, squat. One more time on the right, one more time on the left. Right leg stays. Pulse. Take it behind. Pulse it out. Last one on the right leg, right here. Step it in, switch the legs. Get that squat in there. One more time through. Last one. Left leg stays. Pulse it out. Take it behind. Add that pulse. Last one. We're going to end with those squats. Halfway. And bring it up, pull those shoulders back, shake out the legs, grab some water, and then we're going to move on into full body fusion. Okay, full body fusion. We start with those pile push ups. So we'll fan our arms up, walk it out a lot like we did earlier. You have the option to be on your knees or up on your toes. You've got three push ups. Walk it all the way back. I'll count down from three. We're going to squat together, walk it back out, three more push ups. And then from that position, after that second time through those push ups, don't come up, just go into down dog. And then we're going to get set up for everything on the right side of the body first. You're going to go into that single leg down dog so your right leg can come forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to fly. So nice flat back, arms with palms up. And then you stand up nice and tall and you make that circle. And then back to that flight. After that, we're going to go into warrior three. So this is when you have both of your hands down on the ground and you extend that left leg up. From that warrior three then, excuse me, I got ahead of myself. Warrior three is when you don't have your hands down. So if you need your hands at your sides, or all the way out to balance, whatever works. And then we go into three point where you do take your hands down and extend that leg out. And then we go into an atlas. So what you're gonna do for that atlas is you're just gonna step and then we're gonna hold that atlas pose just like so, always add that side step to it. We'll go through everything on the right side, we'll go back to those pile push-ups and then we'll do everything then on the left side. So those are our moves. Let's start with our pile push-ups. Again, on the knees or on the toes, completely up to you. We're still going to fan our arms up and exhale as we walk out. Ready? And inhale. And exhale. Crawl it out. Just three push ups. Walk it back. Three, two, 
One, squat, back up and back down. Three more and then down dog. Put yourself up into that down dog position. Right leg up. Right leg in between those hands. Push yourself into that nice flight position. So hinge forward, flat back. And circle the arms, stand up nice and tall in that split stance, back to flight. Circle the arms. After that last circle, push off into that nice single leg balance of warrior three. Hands come down, three point balance. Left foot taps off to the left side and you hold that atlas pose. Tap and atlas and back to flight. Up in circle. Up in circle, push off, warrior three. Hands come down three point. Tap. Atlas, left foot goes back, fly, circle, fly, circle, push off, hold, hands come down, she'll be able to get that leg up a little higher now, push yourself up, tap, Atlas, tap, Atlas, back to flight, we cut it in half. Circle, warrior three, that back leg up. Three point, get it up higher. Push yourself up, so tap, Atlas, send it back and fly. Last time on the right, circle, warrior three, three point, tap, Atlas, Feet together, take three steps back, stand arms up. Exhale, forward fold, walk it out. Three push ups. Walk it back to standing. Squat, walk it back out. Three more, but stay and go into down dog. Hold down dog. Left leg up, hold. Step the left foot in between those hands, push yourself up and fly. Circle. Circle, push off, warrior three. Three point, hands come down. Push yourself up, tap, atlas, tap. Atlas, foot goes back, fly, circle, nice flat back, push off, warrior three, hands come down, three point, push up, this time here's our last at our full count, and then we'll cut it in half. Push off, warrior three. Hands down. Bring it up, side tap to Atlas. One more. Good, let's cut it in half, fly. Circle, three point. Or you know what I meant, warrior three, now three point. Tap, Atlas. Back to flight. Hopefully you were watching me, not listening to me. Circle, warrior three, three point, tap, and atlas to end gracefully. Good job, grab some water, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on into flow. Okay, flow is our longest part. We've got part one and we've got part two, and there's four moves for each part. 
We're going to do everything on the right side, and then we'll combine part one and part two all on the right side. We'll get a little breather, and then we'll go ahead and do everything on the left. So just a refresher for your moves. Your first one is going to be warrior two. So you're going to, I'm going to do a side view for this probably the whole time. Right foot forward, left foot back. So you line up that heel with the middle of your back foot. Arms are extended out at that shoulder height, and we lean in on that front foot, and you can come back. You can keep your arms out, or you can bring your arms into heart space. Whatever works for you, whatever feels natural. That's your first move. After that, we're going to go into warrior one, reverse warrior. So still with the legs here, you're going to push through the wall in front of you, and then windmill your arms up. So that lead leg side of the body, that arm's the one that comes straight up. The one in the back, that arm goes down. That's move number two. And then move number three, you're going to turn this front foot and you're going to lunge front and back. You don't have to tap your feet, you can tap your knees. So front, back, clasp the fingers, windmill super slow up overhead, and then right back to that lunge front, lunge back. After that, you're going to go ahead and turn that front foot back to where it was. Lead leg, side of the body, that arm goes straight down, and we hold right angle. When we go into part two, you're going to turn your back foot, hands are going to come down, and you're going to hold a lunge. If you need a break, this is the time where you're going to drop your back knee to the ground and sit up nice and tall and take that breather if you need it. After that lunge, we go into single leg down dog with a bent knee. So right leg goes up, and we bend that knee, trying to get that left heel down to the ground. Your third move, we push into a plank, and we take this right knee to our left elbow for one, lift it back up. Two, lift it back up for as many reps as we're on on that side. And then after that knee to elbow, we're going to go into pyramid. So you're in that thing like down dog, you extend that foot back to where it was, turn that left foot back to where it was, and hands are on the thigh and you push into this nice pyramid position with that nice flat back. So very similar to right angle, we just don't use our arms, we support ourselves up. So those are your moves. Again, we're gonna do everything on the right side, starting with that warrior two. Right foot forward, left foot back, line up the heel with the middle of your left foot, arms out at shoulder, and lean into it. Bring it back, just like that. Again, option to move your hands, you don't have to. You can keep them extended out. Here's our last one. And push that wall away. Windmill left first, right goes up. Do it again. Last one. Turn that front foot, front, Back, windmill all the way up, straight leg, straight leg, and then back to bending the right, bending the left. Two more. Last one. Turn that front foot, right arm goes down, left arm goes up, hold. Right angle. Bring yourself up, arms at the shoulders, lean into it. We cut it in half, so just two of these movements. Push the wall away. Lunge front, lunge back, windmill up, one more. Turn that front foot, right angle. Good, same count, let's do that again. Warrior two. Warrior one to reverse. Lunge front, lunge back. Right angle. Bring it up, let's cut it in half. So just one of everything. Push the wall away, reverse warrior. Lunge front, lunge back. Right angle. Bring it up. Last time through with part one, and then we go right into that part two, which started with a lunge. Right angle. Turn the back foot, drop the back knee, hold that lunge position. Don't forget you have that option. If you need that breather, put your knee all the way down. Put yourself up tall. Right leg goes up, bent knee down dog, hold. Try to get that left heel down to the ground. Equally distribute the weight of those hands so it's not all in your left palm. 
and right knee to left elbow in that plank position. One, leg back up, three more. Right foot between those hands, turn that back foot and hands on your thigh and lean. Nice flat back as you look forward. Go the cut in half, turn that back foot, drop down to that lunge. Good, single leg down dog, bent knee. Right knee to left elbow for one and two. Foot to the hands, turn the back foot and hold. Good, turn the back foot, hold the lunge. Single leg down dog. Knee to elbow. Step it through, turn that back foot, hold that pyramid. Good, cut it in half again, turn to the lunge. Single leg, bent knee down dog. Knee to elbow. Step it through, turn the back foot, pyramid. Turn the back foot, lunge. Single leg, bent knee down dog. Knee to elbow. Foot through, turn the back, pyramid. One more time, lunge, and then we combine it all. Single leg, bent knee. Knee to elbow. Step it through, turn that back foot, pyramid. Push yourself up, warrior two. I moved a lot. <laughs> Push the wall away. Windmill up. Turn that front foot back. back. Right angle. Hold the lunge, turn the back foot. Single leg down dog. Knee to elbow. Step it through, turn the back foot, pyramid. Push yourself up one more time, warrior two. Warrior one, so reverse. Lunge front, lunge back. Turn that front foot, right angle. Turn the back foot, lunge. Single leg, bent knee, down dog. Knee to elbow. Step it through, turn that back foot, hold that pyramid. Push yourself up. Grab some water if you need it. We've got about 30 seconds. And we're gonna go to the left side. Everything we just did the exact same, just on that left side. I'll do a side view for you again. Away from my sweat puddles. All right, bring yourself back. Let's take a nice deep breath. Everything we just did, here we go. Arms out, warrior two. Lean on that left foot. Your knee can go over your toes, that's perfect. Push the wall away. This first time through, we get to slow things down as we go through it for so many repetitions. Get your body used to it on this left side before we kind of pick up the pace a little bit. Turn that front foot, front, back, when we up. Turn that front foot, drop into that right angle. So left leg down by the left, our left arm down by the left leg, right arm straight up. Nice straight legs. Push yourself up, warrior two, let's cut it in half. Push the wall away, reverse warrior. One more. Turn that front foot, lunge front, lunge back. Turn it, right angle. One more time at this count, warrior two. Push that wall away. Front back. Nice straight legs, super slow with that windmill. Get a good stretch of your back. 
and then right into that right angle. Good, cut it in half again, just one of everything. Here's where we speed it up a little bit. We pick up that pace. We're not holding our moves as long. One more. After this, we go right into part two, which again, starts with that lunge, if you remember from our right side. Turn that back foot, hold the lunge, take that breather if you need to. We're here for 32 counts this first time through, so catch a break wherever you can get it. Good, left leg goes up. We hold that single leg, bent knee, down dog. And let's go into that plank, take that left knee to the right elbow. One more. Left foot between those hands, turn that back foot, hands on the thighs as we hold pyramid. Good. hands down to the ground, send that leg back, hold the lunge. Left foot up, single leg, bent knee. Knee to elbow. Step it through, pyramid. Same count, one more time through, lunge. Leave the leg, knee to elbow, and pyramid. Good, take it down to that lunge. Let's cut it in half. Single leg, bent knee, the elbow, step it through, pyramid. We go into part one after this time through, so we can combine part one into part two. Pyramid. All the way up, warrior two. Push that wall away, reverse warrior. Lunge front, lunge back. Turn the front foot, right angle. All the way down for lunge. Single leg, left leg goes up. Elbow. Step it through, turn that back foot, hold that pyramid. Push yourself up, warrior two, last time. Reverse. Lunge front, lunge back. Drop to that lunge. Single leg, that knee to the elbow. Step it through, turn that back foot, nice flat back. And push yourself up. Awesome job. Go ahead and grab some water and we're gonna end with a little bit of core. All right, core and more. We've got a few variations of different things that we can do here. It doesn't just work your core. It's going to work a little bit of shoulder and a little bit of glutes too as well. Our first move is just a sun salutation, walking out to a plank. So we know how to do this. Our second move is going to be a climbing B. So after that last time we're holding that plank, I'll show you exactly how we do that. So from the side view, let's get started with our first move. Inhale, hand arms up. Exhale, we're going to walk out to that plank. Three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, walk it out to that plank and fold. Good, walk the hands back to the feet, stand up to stand up. 
out that plank, hold plank. Walk it back. Stand arms up. One more. After this plank, I want you to hold. What I want you to do is I want you to take your left foot and your right foot and walk those knees in towards your chest. So those shins are about two, that's yeah, more than two, like six inches above the ground. And what we're going to do from this position is we're going to walk it forward. So your right foot and your left hand are going to go front. And then right hand, left foot front. A few more steps forward, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Now let's take it back. Right and left, left and right, right and left, left and right. If you need to, drop to those knees and go into a child's pose, or you can continue to hold that plank. We're going to do that two more times. All right, knees into the chest. Here we go, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. Two more steps forward, just like that. Now take it back. Again, you can walk back up the plank for an extra challenge or drop in the child's pose or just drop to the knees. Good, knees into the chest last time. Right hand, left foot, left and right, right and left, left and right, take it back. Same thing, child's pose or plank for eight counts. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody drop to the knees, toes together, knees apart. Child pose, push the ground away, drop your face to the floor, send those hips and glutes to the heels. We're gonna get our nice little stretch and cool down intertwined with our core movements here. Awesome job, all right. Our next one that we're going to do is we're going to do a nice butterfly forward fold with a little rowing action too as well. So starting off with our stretch, bottom of the feet together, knees out to the side, elbows on the knees, hands up so your palms are facing towards me, and you're going to rock side to side. Stretching out those hips, nice little release of the inner thigh too as well. All right, take those hands on the ankles and push those elbows down. Three, two, one. Good. Extend those legs out with the heels down, toes up, nice little bent knee, hands on the back of the thigh. And I want you to put yourself back into a nice B curve. Clasp those hands together and we're going to act like we're rowing a boat. Off to the left, off to the right, left. And right. Good, halfway. Back to that butterfly position, but this time I want you to fold your chest forward as close as you can get it. Keeping those knees as close to the ground as you can get as well. Bring it back up, extend those legs out, knees bent, heels down, toes up, back of the thighs, lean it back to that speaker, clap the fingers together, row to the right, and left, and keep it going. Stay low, don't allow yourself to come up, stay back. Halfway. One more each side. Lay it on back, bring those knees into the chest, and you can either add a nice little rock side to side or you can just hug the knees and hold. Last eight counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Actually, I won't see you next week. I am gone next week. There's no pile next week. So you're going to have to watch a recording of this week or last week. So see you later.